Welcome to the latest episode of the miniature painting series. In the upcoming tutorials, we will be painting figures from the Iron Keep expansion of the Dark Souls board game. On today's video, we will cover the steps to paint Serralone. Serralone came to this land from the east, chose to serve as a little known and established lord, and helped him become the old Iron King. And oh boy, do you know when you have an optional boss that you leave it to fight at the end game because you know it's gonna be a pain to beat? That's what it feels painting Sir alone. Look at all these layers, so many colors and small details. It is definitely not an easy miniature. So if you are a beginner, I suggest you check the how to paint miniature guide and it starts with simpler knights, like the silver knights or the alone knights. If you feel like you're grinding enough skills and it's up to the task, let's continue and beat this boss together. For this project, you need the following colors. The first step, as usual, is priming the miniature. For the second step, I painted the pants, the shoes and the center of the shin guards with the Abaddon black. Then, I highlighted the pants with downstones for the nice folded look. I also went a bit further and highlighted the shoes and the shin guard with Iron Warrior for some reflection effect and painted the skirt and the calf chainmail with the same color. That weird cloth around the shoe that doesn't exist in the model of the game I painted with Mechanicus Standard Grey to give it a different shade of grey. Also, don't mind the mess around the base, that was me trying to figure out which was the best gold to paint the armor, this will be covered with black later on. I used a very fine brush to make the cord around the shoe cloth with Abaddon black. Retributor gold was the winner of my tests and I covered the shin guard and the first part of the tithe protection with it. The straps of the shin guard I painted with Hinox hide. Now that things are dry, the armor of Sir alone is starting to get recognizable with Abaddon black. You can also paint the sleeves and the neck fabric with black. Once again, you use a fine brush to cover the details of the armor with Retributor gold. I dry brush sigmed it on the scales of the armor and a bit on the tithe protections to highlight the armor details. I also dry brush a bit of the Iron Warrior on the chest plate to give a refractive look like the center of the shin guards. I mixed Mechanicus Standard Grey and Abaddon Black to get a darker grey and paint the fabric that is over the chainmail, the tip of the gloves and the hair. For the skirt fabric, I mixed Catacan Flesh and Kislev Flesh for a beige tone. We are halfway through, so if you're enjoying this tutorial, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. For the next step, I dry brush Longbeard Grey on the dark grey skirt fabric to highlight the folds of the cloth. The metal belt is very shiny in-game, so I painted with Iron Breaker. For the final details of the leather straps, I used, once again, Hinox Hide. Since I had a bit of Hinox Hide still on my palette, I mixed Mephton Red to give a somber look and paint the cloth around the metal belt and on the elbow. For the ponytail hair color and the upper neck fabric, I used a mixture of Mechanicus Standard Grey and Amadon Black. Now for the helmet, shoulder pads and gloves, I used Iron Warrior. I also used Abaddon Black to paint one missing strap that I forgot on the chest. With the metal dried, I used Yushbadi Bone to make the ropes around the arms. Possibly Zendri Dust is a good pick too. The hilt of the sword is painted with Abaddon Black and the blade with Iron Breaker. I added a few highlights with Longbeard Grey on the hair and red fabric for added details. It would probably look good if I added on the hilt as well. And I finished the ponytail cloth with the red mix. 
I covered the metal parts, golden armor, shin guard, chainmail shoes and pants with new oil. The grey cloth on the sides and back was shaded with Brackenhof nightshade for a bluish tone. And the beige skirt was shaded with seraphin sepia. To bring back the shine of the metal, I highlighted the armor, the arms protection, the helmet and the metal collar with iron breaker. Lastly, I finished the base with Abaddon Black. And this is the final result. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you have any constructive feedback, questions or suggestions, don't hesitate to drop in the comment section below. Let us know if you painted or intend to paint using any of the tutorials, I'm very curious to know if those are helpful. Also hit the bell button to get a notification when the next episode is up. See you next time!